Hi, today we are going to use an advanced OpenCV algorithm in order to do image segmentation. This is for example the original uh, image. We will use k-means in order to segment to several areas. For example, uh, in this uh, first uh, process, uh, we are going to separate it to two areas. This is another example how we would uh, separate to three areas. And here's another, another example to a segment to four areas. So basically we will use an advanced uh, OpenCV function using k-means to do this uh, image segmentation. Okay, so let's start coding. Of course I will leave a link to my GitHub and also I will uh, upload to my GitHub uh, this the same uh, example uh, image. So let's start coding. Okay, first of all, we will import CV2. Then we will load our image. This is our image. So we would like to segment these mountains and the sea and the, and the boats. Let's copy the relative uh, path for the image and we should change the directions uh, since we are using Windows and let's show our image. Let's run the code. Okay, so this is basically displaying an image using OpenCV. Okay, let's continue to the next step. First of all, let's see the shape of our image. As you can see, it's 750 on 1038 and three channels. Of course, this is a color image. We would like to re reshape it to two dimensional image since this OpenCV k-means function need that the image should be two dimension and also it should be a uh, transfer to float type of float instead of uh, the original uh, type so first of all we are converting our image okay we, we shaped we reshaped our image now we are going to convert it to float. We will use the uh, uh, float32 numpy function. Of course, we should uh, import numpy as np. And now, once again, let's print the shape of our numpy array. As, as you can see, it's float. Okay, let's continue to the next step. Okay, next we are going to, to define a, a new a variable that we will call it a criteria. This variable will uh, include several uh, parameters uh, inside it. The first one is uh, named as the, the algorithm that we are going to use, basically there are uh, two algorithms, so we can send uh, any of them, but we will can send uh, both of them. That, that means that the algorithm will be stopped if we uh, reached a specific accuracy, uh, basically it's, uh, it's epsilon accuracy, or if we uh, reach the, a specific number of iteration, this uh, max iteration. So uh, we will send this uh, both parameter to this uh, uh, function and the number 10 is basically the number of the attempts and the number 1.0 is our epsilon. Next, uh, k, k equals 2 is the number of areas, areas that we would like to segment. And let's continue for writing our function. 
the function will return a free parameters we will uh, show and demonstrate how we are using this uh, uh, return values we are sending first of all our uh, two-dimensional number array the the k which is how many areas areas we would like to segment and the criteria uh, which is uh, choosing our algorithm and number of attempts the last parameters is a uh, where are the initial centers you you can play with it uh, later there are uh, basically uh, two arguments that can be put here as the last argument okay now we are going to convert our uh, center return value uh, back to uh, integer and the next step is uh, building a uh, or, or creating once again our uh, image this will be based on the the center repair return value we are going to flatten the the label and then uh, we will shape it back to our uh, original uh, uh, to our original shape Now let's say uh, show our image. Let's run our Python Python program. Now you can see both images, the original image images and the uh, our two aerial segment image. Now let's try to change uh, the K to 3. That means that we are going to segment 3 areas. As you can see, now our image has 3 segmented areas. Very cool. And it's all based on OpenCV. We can try the 4 value as well. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much.